guys, RC Nitric here. Today I'll be doing a quick video on how to calibrate the Traxxas Aton. So if you're at home watching this, I just want to let you guys know that you can get the Traxxas Flight Link app in connected to your Aton with the Kindle Fire 7. So I'm doing that right now. And if you want to do this right now, just get your Aton, get a mobile device. This works on iPad, phone, or any Android device. So if you get the Traxxas Flight Link, what you'll need to do is get your Aton, put a battery in it, charge it up, and then turn it on. So what you'll first do is turn on the transmitter, turn on the Aton, go through connections on your mobile device, you hit connections, and it'll say on the back there's a button right here. This is your Bluetooth button. You press that once and then you'll hit connect and it'll start connecting to the Aton. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go through connections and it'll say uh, controls and settings. We'll go through there and go through calibrate. So it has a bunch of lists. You have film mode, sport mode, extra mode, limits, return to home, calibrate, and lighting. And then the last three are transmitter, reset, and app. So these are all settings you can adjust on your Aton. But for today, we're going to do calibrate. Once you've done calibrate, you're going to want to start at level. And just make sure your Aton is on a level surface. Now we're going to hit touch to begin level calibration. Level calibration accepted. You'll hear some lady in the background say level calibration accepted. And then once that's done, you'll hit accelerometer. Once you've done that, hit touch to begin. Place vehicle level and press key. Keep quad level and tap so set level now what I'm going to do is just turn the volume down because she gets annoying. So hit set level, just like this. Now it's going to tell you to move the quad on its left side. And I may need to turn the volume back up to make sure that she's done talking. So now you'll just lay it on its left side and hit set level. And then now it says do its right side. And I don't know exactly what this is doing, but this is something you have to do um, if you've crashed, I think. I think if you crash, it's good to do this. So now we'll just place it on its right side. And now it says new nose down. So you kind of get the gist of what I'm doing. Nose down. And then now it says nose up. So now it's going to be nose up. OK. Now it says to place it on its back. Place it on its back. Okay. Now it's going to start listing a bunch of numbers, and then after that, it will say calibration successful. So it's going to keep talking for a long time, and it's really annoying. Sounds like a robot. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to do the compass calibration. This is the most important one. If you get confused in this video, hit video demonstration. That will show you the Traxxas one. Okay, so now we turn left. And I may, I don't know how I could do this with one hand, but whatever. Now it says point north. Hold on. Almost. So now what it's going to say is start rolling the the drone right here forward. So I'm going to set the tablet down and you just go just like this, just like that till it says it's done. Make sure you try to keep it level. You may mess up a couple times doing the compass, it's not easy. Okay, so no, now it says point west. There we go. Start roll rotation. Okay, now you're going to roll the drone. So I'm going to step down again and then start rolling it. Try to keep it aligned. This is, this is always the hard part for me. Okay, this is the pain. Okay, so after a million years of rolling the drone, I finally got it and it is ready. So that is how you calibrate the Traxxas Aton. If you like this video, please leave a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.